this is a video about parenting and parenting children that uh, may have narcissistic traits may be arrogant so let's say you are cooking the breakfast and the breakfast is good and this child sits on the table first starts to play around like not very interested in the food and then sits on the table and picks up whatever food is there smells it and put it down <laughs> and you are observing this and then eats a little bit and then says mommy this for example whatever it is uh, food doesn't taste to nothing and then put it back as a mother or as a father what do you do you know the food is good you are cooking with care for them are you going to get angry no even though you are boiling inside um, are you going to give them snacks or cakes or biscuits or easy fast kind of breakfast <clears throat> no um, you are going to look deep in their eyes and and this would work with any person adult child doesn't matter you are going to stay in yourself even you are boiling inside and or not and you are going to look in their eyes and say, I was cooking with love for you. The food is good. Your brother or your sister is eating. And you are putting defects with such an arrogance. Uh, it's okay. You don't want to eat, you don't eat. You just say you are not hungry. But I don't allow you to... Um, put defects on a food that is good and that I made with care for you. I don't allow you this kind of behavior. If you don't want to eat, if you are not hungry, that's okay. You just say, I am not hungry. But uh, it's important that you to know that from now until the lunch or until the next meal, there will not be snacks or sweets or anything. There will be only real food. I will leave the plate on the table. Whenever you are hungry, you eat. It's this or and fruits and nothing else. So it's okay. But uh, this behavior or coming, you are not hungry or you don't feel to eat or you are just twisted. And you come and you put defects on a food that I did for you with care. It's a miss of respect. It's a big miss of consideration. And I don't allow you this behavior from you towards me. And when you say something like this, calm, serious, uh, looking deeply at them, you make them realize what they are doing. You make them become conscious of what they are doing. You know, because Independent if it's a child or an adult, when they start to have narcissistic behavior or arrogant behavior, you are not going to scream with them or boil. You have to bring awareness of what the fuck are you doing? You know, what, is, what shit are you doing? You know, no, this is not the way. This is not how you treat people. You know, I don't, I don't allow you, especially if you have uh, people-pleasing traits or codependency traits <clears throat> you really have to set those boundaries otherwise people eat you alive and your children if they are narcissists if they are have narcissistic personality or narcissistic traits or arrogant um, you will have to put the boundaries independently of who you are is your mother your father your child your partner doesn't matter you know it's a question of self-respect and it's a question of bringing awareness to the other person or the child that, no, 
what you are doing is wrong, you know, it's not like this that you treat people. This is a miss of respect, it's a miss of consideration, you understand? Um, so also don't let the child manipulate you into doing whatever, no, they are testing you all the time. So then what you do? Oh, okay, you can eat this piece of cake. Okay, some days um, maybe you can have, uh, maybe you are more soft or whatever, but like when the child comes with this kind of behavior and you see in their face they are twisting, you know, they are um, in the wrong side, in the dark side, you can see in their faces. You bring awareness, you think, no, you don't do this with me. This is not the way, because this, this and that. You say the reason, you explain, and you, when you are calm, not screaming, talking in a low tone of voice, very calm, but you explain what is going on and what they are doing and that that is wrong, they will, oh, and maybe they will say even, I'm sorry, and they say, okay, I'm not going to do maybe they will do again but it's the boundary that you set it's a boundary that you set and the most close people to us are the ones who train us uh, especially people who have <coughs> tendencies of being more soft or uh, people pleasing or codependent or whatever <coughs> uh, to to actually train has to put some boundaries and also like it's education you know you are raising your child so how you are going to allow this child to be in the world with other people when they become adults you know is this awareness we have to bring to our children it's just to give a touch you know no no that's not the way this is the way you know and then it will be their choice but at least you are bringing consciousness, awareness about behaviors that are not correct, that are wrong, and, and you stay firm in that path. As a mother, as a father, you stay firm in that path, just guiding them, loving but firmly. Okay, have a good time. Thank you. And share it.